a rolling stone gathers no moss. I don't know about you, but I was raised to think that quote meant I should not gather moss. I should not sit still and allow the moss to grow on me. This is hearkening me to Janelle Cannon's lovely book, Verdi. So I encourage you to check that one out. But a highly sensitive person needs to slow down and gather moss. This is why we do these retreats, why I lead these retreats for highly sensitive people at these beautiful retreat centers. And I'm on one of the trails at the Art of Living Retreat Center right now, trying to uh, self-regulate a little bit so that I'm not a ball of nerves when the retreat officially starts at 7.30 this evening. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the highly sensitive person's five to thrive. There's no doubt that if we can live the five to thrive, we will thrive. There's also no question, no doubt that it's a challenge. It's a challenge. You know, I always say, or I often say, uh, this is a gift I'm not sure I would have chosen if I got to have a choice in the lottery of genetics and evolution and all of that brain development, brain functioning. But we're born with this trait. It's real. It's too common to be a disability. That's why we are a minority between 20 and 30 percent. You see how the number has gone up. Uh, the researchers are working on it diligently and finding that with some kinds of sensitivity that we might be in might be as high as 30% of the population. That's a lot. That's uh, more than the population of China. So it is a, a rather common trait. Why don't you know about it? Why didn't we grow up being honored for being born this way? Well, most of the people who are seeing my videos and um, speaking English grew up in a place where there was colonization and conquering and adventure and a need to be able to um, be out there swinging your sword in, the, in our cultures. So what you would find or what I have found is that in more ancient, closer to the earth cultures, the sensitive people were more and are more revered and honored. So if we look carefully at the research, we'll see that in certain places, the sensitive children are the ones who are popular and successful and thriving. So that's my little introduction to the highly sensitive person's five to thrive. Stay tuned for learning a little bit more about them. I'm gearing up to help some HSPs live the five to thrive this weekend. So this is a good place to close. I see a lot of moss. The moss has become my model. May I gather moss just like this trail and may you. This is Elaine Friend. Thank you for following me. Please subscribe to me wherever you can so I can get my message out to more people. Thank you.